Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on Surge and Split Face Breakout from 2012, of course. So on the front of the bags here, which, as we covered in the last review of Evo and Toxic Reaper, of course, in the description below, obviously. But anyways, they're still using the bags, of course, which had the Ziploc feature and whatnot, and... But anyways, on the front, so which you see the zippers with either the hero symbol and also the hero villain's faces. But although in this one's case, as you see, split faces is a little bit larger since he's one of the larger villains, of course. But in this one, they kind of equaled out the sizes of the heroes and villains, obviously. But anyways, on the front, so which you see the Lego Hero Factory logos and picture of the sets that there are in front of some asteroid field of course and you see the names of them and also the game points for the online game that there is choking hazard and also the age group set number amount of pieces and if you look on the backs then you see a yeah, different picture of the sets that there are of them showing the features of them and also the points for the online game, so of course. There's a... And now onto the manuals. Oh, it's the same pictures as on the front of the bags and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. You see, add of Lego Club, add for the DC build figure sets. And then add of the five hero sets of the first wave of breakout and Add for Black Phantom, and then use the code for the online game, of course, and the like verses of the two sets that there are, and also the combination model that they make, and then the last building steps, and then also the online game again. And also with them is this uh, join Lego Club insert, which uh, I which I don't think was necessary at the time, but it's kind of interesting how they brought it back for there, because nowadays and at that time of which where you can just go online to join in and whatnot, and this is something to expect from a set in the '90s and early 2000s. But yeah. And so now on to the sets. First off is Surge, well, third version of Surge, since there was a Surge uh, 1.0 and 2.0, but not 3.0, but, and also, of course, did as well in Breakout, or I mean in Brain Attack as well, but yeah. So, as you see, for his color scheme, mainly of his traditional color blue, but now mixed with some lime green as well, because, <coughs> well, on Surge 2.0, there was some lime green, but just for his head and hero core. But now it's a secondary color, which they have started doing for these other sets as well. For this wave as, as well, of course. So for the feet, which traditional hero feet, feet of course, and also the great limb pieces like in Savage Planet, of course, and also those... Also, the larger armor pieces, like we see, also seen in, seen in on Surge 2.0, but now for the legs, since of course used as his uh, gravity holders or something. Yeah, gravity boots. It's the same stuff, and whereas for this one arm, which does hold, which has some lime green bits to it, and also those core pieces of uh, add-on pieces from 2.0, of course. You know, they kind of hinder the movement a little bit, but it's still workable, obviously. And also does have a great recolor of Surge 1.0's weapon, but instead of yellow, now in blue. Nice for mocking, of course. Although you can 
And once again, still quite useful and also quite customizable with that. And also connected to a, a clear and blue two piece from uh, Stormer 2.0, also did, but connected onto his lower back course. And also, unlike some of the other sets, not at all any coverage from the back, with, which we'll see on some of the larger hero sets, because they just wanted to cut the price point down or something. And onto his chest plate piece. As the new chest plate piece has all the heroes in breakout, of course, but now in blue, and his prints are a pair of lightning bolts on the sides, of course, kind of suiting to his weapon, of course, and also the newer hero court piece, which has the court behind or code behind it, and yeah. And as for his uh, helmet piece, same as 1.0's helmet piece, of course, and of course, the Clear yellow Gatorian head, of course. I was not sure, wonder why they did that. Probably to make them more recognizable, obviously, or whatever. And also do get the newer launcher piece, which is kind of like that of Thornax launcher, but with but a little shorter, and also so an all new top piece, which of course does shoot a little bit more powerful than the other than the last ones but yeah and oddly enough in, in surges or most of the characters cases has regular hand connector piece rather than the more traditional hand piece I guess they just didn't think well for that although I think it would have been great if would have been better if that piece was also here as well which breeze also did have but yeah and also doesn't come with the handcuffs like all the hero sets do and it's on his upper thigh of course but his and also of course which will handcuff in a bit but yeah and of course all new to this one and the only time we've ever seen these pieces return was on uh, the luke skywalker billable figure set in 2015 obviously and that is it with Surge. And now on to Split Face. Who would some call like Two Face in Hero Factory Wave, since he is like a split in the middle uh, figure, of course, like half and half, which. Like for his gunmetal gray side, which does have the like that engine piece on both of these from the Fire Villain sets in 2.0 and. Also, those uh, spiked pieces, also on the hero sets in 2.0, and also those buzzsaw pieces, also 2.0, well, of course, or train claw for that. And also that piece, also from the past villain sets of that. And what's kind of annoying are is the like red limb piece here, but although I think it should have been in black to match the rest of it, but yeah. And then on for the red side of which, which has some traditional five long armor pieces in red and also so those new spherical pieces in red, of which good for mock making, of course, and also do you get the two of the new launcher pieces for his launcher, of course, and also the uh, gun piece used on Surge and a couple other 2.0 hero sets, of course. And with a trans yellow lightsaber rod in it. And also that two piece for Meltdown and Toxic Reaper, of course. And it's connected to a Hero Factory foot piece used as a back armor piece. So at least he, which was one of the first to have actual back coverage, which, which we'll see on some of the other hero sets, of course. And onto the chest plate piece of which, which is in Gummel Gray and has the split in the half printings of which, both in silver and in red, of course. And as for his uh, helmet, of which it's much different than other helmet sets that we've had, is that it's actually in split in half kind, of course. And of course. 
and of course it ended this way, which first time that this headpiece got molded in translucent green, because unlike with previous waves, it was in just trans yellow, trans blue, and trans orange, of course. It's been quite neat to see it in this coloring, of course. And as for the helmet piece of which, which does isn't split in half, but where you can look at it in either like uh, that or like that. And of course, since these head pieces do have uh, axle hole connection or axle hole connections on the sides, do plug into there, of course. So quite fascinating and interesting use of that. And of course, of what? And of course, neat fact that some people did is where they bought two of him and made one all red and one all uh, metallic gray, of course. And as for the cup suet, where you can cuff on like so. And quite strong for that to them, him and yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. And so, uh, hang on. so overall, these I think are pretty good, quite cool sets for the time. Like, like a good return of Surge, at least with some new extra bits added to him, obviously. And also, it, neat, kind of interesting character that Split Face was kind of feeling like the Batman villain Two Face. Is but to them, and yeah. And of course, what's funny in the Nick episode with the two personalities and all. And also, of which some good recolors to some of them, and also, as with Surge, like uh, having two different colors, so which good example of how they were going for, of the new direction they were going for, and yeah. Although I think they could have added a little extra piece onto his lower legs to also represent gravity boots or something, yeah. And also, uh, not sure what else, but yeah. And so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.